Hi you guys. Now, I know I haven't been making any videos and well, that's because I, you know, we all have our own little battles and, you know, we need to take time to fight them. <laughs> so, that's, that's basically how things are that's how things were going so far and today I just feel like you know I need to share with you some of the things that that I went through before I found well before Jesus found me so um, I've been I've been into a lot of things not really practicing but um, reading. I'm, I'm a very diligent reader. I'm very enthusiastic about it. And what I was, I don't do it anymore because I just don't have, you know, I don't have the zeal to constantly learn things anymore because, well, the Bible answered everything that I needed to know. It answered all my questions about life and living and why things are the way they are. The Holy Spirit already put it into, you know, I got that knowledge from the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ. So, you know, there's nothing else to know. I just have to go out and do the will of God, right, for my life. So, um, before Jesus found me, I did a lot of things that I'm not proud of anymore. I was proud of it back when I, you know, yeah. So, I did a lot, I read a lot, I read tons of books not literally tons but a lot of books and um i'm not sure i should tell you the names of the books but most of them were philosophical books i was very interested in philosophy and um and you know i was science oriented i did sciences all my life so i loved science so much so passionately that I went on to major in biochemistry, you know, general chemistry and minor in biology, which I stopped um, a few months ago. I stopped university, you guys know that. But um, there are many reasons why I did that. And um, it's basically because I came to a realization that you know, all these things really don't matter. They, they don't matter. And I'm still suffering from... I still have withdrawal from that because everybody's seeking, you know, intelligence and here I am just rejecting it because I experienced it already and I just did not feel complete. And I, I you know, compare now to them uh, when I knew, when I thought I knew everything and I wasn't complete and I was suicidal and lonely even though I had friends that only cared, you know, only cared when they wanted to. But, yeah, some of them, yeah, they do reach out but that's not a story altogether. And compared to now when I really, I really know everything because of Jesus, because of Jesus coming into my life and changing everything and rejecting worldly knowledge. It's, it's two different ideologies. So um, I'm not going to go in depth with that, but I think I want to expose some of the things that I read before. Um, concerning the enemy side. I know that you guys would have wanted this to be a biblical video, but I think um, right now I'm very, uh, I just, I just, I know that vengeance is the Lord's, but oh my gosh, I can't take the enemy just, you know, just 
making my life miserable so I guess this video is you know kind of venting yeah <laughs> okay so um, before Jesus concerning my reading I had read a lot of books that were satanic a lot of books that were philosophical old books very um atheistic books I read a book called Spiritual Atheism because I was agnostic and I wanted to be atheist because, you know, I started to believe more in myself than I did in the existence of a God. So I, um, I was looking for a way to believe that, that God was not real. So I went to, um, I started a long time ago reading a lot of atheist books. I read Spiritual Atheism, I had borrowed a book on mysticism, I went into, um, I read things like Satan's Bible, The Black Book of Satan, other, um, other Kabbalah books, you know. Um, I had read Hindu books, basically I was exploring all religions because I was searching for truth and when I didn't find it, that's when I got suicidal. I wasn't suicidal because I had low self-esteem. I wasn't suicidal because of things that teens are normally suicidal about. I was more suicidal because I could not find meaning when I wanted to find meaning in life. And no, I, nothing was helping me. I couldn't find meaning, literally. And I guess that's that's where intelligence gets you, you know. You know so much about everything, but in reality, you know so little about anything. And um, that's that's what happened. You realize that all this all this stuff you learn, even if it's science, it doesn't solve anything. It just gives multiple explanations for unexplainable phenomena and it's well I'm not gonna go too much in depth with that and my video is gonna cut off soon. Anyway, okay, um I read lots of self help books. I was also searching for happiness. I read um lots of Wayne Dyer books, lots of spiritual enlightenment books. I was very active in the new age. I loved astrology. It it came to a point where I was so deep in astrology that I would um you know, as soon as I meet someone, I would know exactly what month they were. And it would be very precise. Like I would know just observing them, you know, talking to them, I would just know and it became very normal for me. I had people telling me that I could be a talented witch and stuff like that. It was um it was interesting in a bad way. But um you know, I just, I thought, at first, I thought Jesus wouldn't, when I came to know the truth, I really thought Jesus wouldn't forgive me for the things that I went into, and I had this strong belief that all, all these things that I read were the truth, until I hit a brick wall. So, people that comment on, um, on my videos and, you know, come with their numerology, and they come with this um, spiritual enlightenment and stuff like that, I really am not interested because I've been very deep into, you know, into those things in terms of knowledge of, of those things, knowledge, just constantly knowing everything because of my reading and so on. So I would say, I would say I had more, I had gained more knowledge of things that I shouldn't have and open doors to demons instead of actually practicing those things in the physical. So Jesus did not allow me to go far. I think I went through all of this for a purpose and he is so great because 
all of this, without all this experience in that area, I would not feel, I wouldn't have such a dramatic repentance moment like I did when um, I first found the truth. Now, um, concerning the books, I didn't mention a few more of the satanic books because I really don't want you guys going to look it up and I don't want this video propelling anyone to go into that area. It's just explaining the things that I read. Now, um, let's talk about music. Um, the satanic realm basically controls today's beats. Now, when I was reading, um, I was reading a few of the satanic books, they mentioned that they would use certain, certain, a certain pitch, a certain tone, you know, when they're doing rituals, the females with the, the soprano voice, it's, it's, I don't want to go into all, all this stuff, but basically they make their own music and they make a specific beat for a specific purpose. So a lot of these things I realize are becoming integrated into today's music, especially combined with the, with the sexual, intimate kind of visual imagery that they're doing in these music videos. It's, it's like a total recipe for lust and disaster. And um, that's basically what's happening. And, you know, no one really cares right now. And it's a very powerful stronghold. I still have attachments to, you know, these types of beats that I used to listen to, but slowly I'm asking Jesus to, you know, pull me away from those things. And um, basically what the Satanic Bible um, described this Antichrist um, behavior to be is totally self-centeredness. Um, they have a belief where, you know, if they if if they believe in theology and they believe there's no God, then they don't have to believe that there is morality, and so they have their own free will in according according to their personal lusts and desires. And they believe in total self-indulgence and indulgence in everything that we're supposed to be keeping to a minimum. So basically the Antichrist agenda is indulging in anything. Indulging in too much of it. Just <sighs> We see these things being portrayed so many ways, you know. Sounds like you want to be free or do what you want to do anytime you want to. Uh, things like th this this idea that, you know, this thing came out, you only live once. All these, all these little catchphrases, it's easy to remember, easy to apply, easy to indulge in. It's, it's like the perfect thing to lead you away from anything you believe in. Just just that little catchphrase and they're very clever in using these things. Um, many of you wonder why the checkered board is used a lot. Well, in my reading I found out that the um, Masonic members, when they get to a certain level, they have recreational activities as well. A big recreational activity for them is chess and it's not like normal chess it's it's still the checkerboard kind of thing the you know the ones that they have on their floors but this kind of chess is physical as well as spiritual right where they get together it's normally like seven tiers of chess boards like seven tiers high you know and you start from the bottom and you play your way to the top. 
and whatever happens in the game is what happens in the spiritual realm when they you know face each other and that's how they jump to promotions or they get knocked down because if they lose the game they go down and the person who wins actually wins in in the physical as well as the spiritual it's just like it's witchcraft it's it's just nonsense it's it's a dangerous game that they play very dangerous and you know when i did my reading as well most of the signs the symbolisms that we used in chemistry and physics especially i, I did physics as well um the arm and, and all these um symbols are also satanic symbols the rocks that you guys believe in like amethyst and topaz and all these different rocks for different birth months birth stones these things are um they are very conductive they have high conductivity and especially for demonic power so they can be charged and you know when you wear them it, it all serves a purpose you would not believe how many things i learned about it you, you would not believe lots of things it's like our society alone is sold out the society is sold out but um don't want to worry you <laughs> what i'm just saying you know uh they believe in they believe in pain and pleasure they believe in pain and pleasure things like um you know uh, on a simplistic level things like exercising until you're so exhausted that you can almost pass out and then after after they do that and they you know work themselves out tired tirelessly then they engage in you know something sexually charged or something to do with nature there's a strong connection between the occult and nature loving like they love nature they support nature they they esteem nature more than the value of mankind you understand what i'm saying so all these things like um nature conservation and all these things they are very for it they are pro conservative for nature but they are looking forward to destruction of mankind their fellow mankind if you understand what i'm saying because of their self indulgent nature and um self centeredness so that's it's a lot it's a lot i might have to do another video cuz i don't want to teach you guys too much about this you know because um it's not important for you to know all these things i thought it was important for me to know and i got myself confused basically tied up you know in something that i should be tied up in and i realized that that knowledge is not is it makes you think you know everything but you don't you just don't the jesus is the truth he's the way he's the light so He's the light of men, and the darkness does not understand it. So, um, yeah, I did hypnosis, self hypnosis. Um, you know, um, I used to project, but not on a on a only for a short period of time. I wouldn't say projecting. I just I thought I projected once. I think I astral projected like once. but most of the times i had lucid dreaming which is like not as clear cut as astral projection and um i believe that i was in demonic realms at that time i didn't but i just you know i i probably make a video on my experience but again it's not that important 
because it's it's horrible. I used to get chased all the time. Like every time I dr I had a dream, I was always on the run. You know, I was always on the run. It was never peaceful. But um, except you can you know run at a high speed or fly or do something that you otherwise couldn't do in real life and that's what people are looking for they're looking to be like superhuman but it it doesn't um it doesn't matter it doesn't lead to anything good nothing because what, what is that without peace and what is that without happiness and love it's nothing you know it's all false it's all fake and um I was into meditation. I always tried meditation, always, and I never got it. <laughs> I never got it. I think, again, Jesus did not allow me to go there. I know he had, I know that he was controlling me, but he was allowing me to use my free will. Like, you know, what's she gonna do now? Doesn't she know that this isn't the right way? Oh my gosh. Who am I speaking to here? Girl, stop doing that. You know, he was, I think he was looking on and he wasn't proud of me, but he found me anyway and he changed me around anyway and I'm so happy. So, oh, you know, I was, um, I read a lot about black magic and stuff like that. I. Jesus didn't allow me to do any any spell casting or anything like that. He never allowed me to. I couldn't. I just couldn't. In my spirit, in my soul, deep down, I knew that these things were wrong. But I just rebelled. I just rebelled over and over and over again. And I thought he'd never forgive me for that. But, you know, when I fell down on my knees and cried out to him, and weeping and stuff it was it was powerful and it's something that i wouldn't forget so um you guys be careful with these things this the the agenda is to have mankind adopt an animalistic nature animalistic point of view to reduce humans to animals and that's exactly what the agenda is and it's clear to see, except except those people under strong delusions will not notice it. And um, if you haven't noticed it, maybe you're under a stronger delusion. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, everything I've read is society itself. It was so disappointing. I hit a brick wall. I thought, you know what? This is the end. I just, I don't want to know anymore. This is depressing. I don't want to know anymore. I just, I just want to, I just want to get out of here. I don't want to know anymore. And that's when Jesus stepped in, you know. He stepped in at the right time. And it, it was really good. I, I don't have words right now, but um, yeah, that's some of what I've been through. Uh, yeah, so I'll tell you guys more later, whatever you need to know to prevent yourself from going in that direction. And I know that you guys won't because Jesus got you, right? So don't make the same mistakes, those new viewers that are into this stuff. Don't make these mistakes because I'm sharing them with you. And yes, yeah, that's just the half of it. So you guys take care, have a good day, good week, good month. Bye.